We are back with round two of the UWA Duos Tournament. And what a classic this opening match was of round two as we check out the bracket. We've got Jerry Jets and Seth Rollins versus the Undisputed Era. And the first match up here in round two. This was a great match up here between Jets and Rollins and the Undisputed Era's Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly. As we see here, Jets and Rollins got a lot of combo moves in early on. The Fish and O'Reilly, they hit him hard and they hit him quick. The Rollins and Jets. And you'll see this pin combination here. We get some highlights from the match. Bobby Fish tried to fight back here for the Undisputed Era and that he did. These two went back and forth a lot with their tag team moves throughout this match. It was a very tag team wrestling classic here between both teams. As you see Undisputed Era lay out Seth Rollins there. Rollins of course not staying down here representing his team strong in this match as Kyle O'Reilly would put him down with an inverted DT. But Rollins would continue to fight back against Kyle O'Reilly here. So many tag team moves throughout this match which made it very interesting. You see Rollins set him up here. Jerry Jets with a beautiful corkscrew off the top. What a combo, and eventually Jets would kick it into hyperspeed, which would pay off for Jets and Rollins in the end here, as Jerry Jets just stomps in the chest of Bobby Fish. Nothing pretty about that. Fish would try to fight back towards the end here and hit him with a flying fish hook the same move that won in round one against Lucha Bros. And that would not be enough to put away the United States champion hyperspeed Jerry Jets. As Jets would end up winning this matchup here with the Jetstream Stormbreaker, that move that we've seen back at the Universal Rumble. It was very brutal here, the Jetstream would pick up the win for Jerry Jets and the man of the universe, Seth freaking Rollins, in your opening contest here for round two. Next matchup, seeing KSJ without a partner as Black Grave. Don't get mistaken, Black Grave and a KSJ are not friends. Black Grave just came out there to take care of DT as they have heat, so KSJ winning this in a 2-on-1 predicament against the Hollywood Douches, and Moose would run through KSJ for the whole first half of this match, but the Intercontinental Champion would come back with a high knee into the switch-off, and to be frankly honest, KSJ would have won the match there if it wasn't for Moose's dad, Hulk Hogan, stepping in to save him. Right there, you see Moose getting his hops in there, a couple drop kicks, and crossbody Moose would fight back before getting hit with a revolving switch from KSJ. Once again, Hogan making the save, proving to be crucial to the victory here for the Hollywood douches. KSJ would take down Hogan and continue to fight him off here. Hogan never officially got tagged into the match even. See, KSJ just continued to attack. Hulk Hogan here and that would not set well with Moose Money as he's seen his father-in-law getting attacked and he would catch KSJ out of nowhere with a game changer clothesline which would set him up for the no jackhammer needed spear and that would get Moose the victory over the Intercontinental Champion KSJ Moose with a pinfall over KSJ next up we've got SCU versus SBU and this, of course, is as good as it used to be between these two teams. Two teams going back from 2019 as two-thirds of the UWA Trios champions. SBU Flip Gordon and Sergeant now named Chief Dwight would take it to SCU once again, much like the first match. This was very back and forth with the tag team combination here between SBU and SoCal Uncensored. A very good matchup here as we've seen Frankie Kazarian and Scorpio Sky got quite a bit of offense in as well as SBU. And right here we see the patented SCU stomp. Welcome to SoCal, SCU later, Flip Gordon. So right here is basically, <laughs> so here's basically assaulting a police officer. 
a lot of police brutality in this match did we between SCU and SVU. They even got the missing muscles there at one point. And you see Flip Gordon here take back control for SVU when they were in dire. dire situation there but nonetheless it was Flip Gordon who would really pull through for SBU in this match as he was in the majority of the match and right here we see Scorpio Sky almost going for the win there but Flip Gordon able to counter into a roll up Sky able to kick out and Flip going right back into another inside cradle here almost beat Scorpio Sky just like that SCU back in the ring as they take it to Dwight. Dwight now the one on the defensive here as Frankie Kazarian continued to put an offense on Dwight. But eventually it was that rewind Rana from Flip Gordon followed up by a spear from the Chief Dwight which would pick up SBU the victory over SoCal Uncensored. So you can't be in a good mood after what happened to Ben. And now we get the semifinals of the tournament here for the duo's titles. 